Hey guys, Tech Manager with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the standby mode that's available on iOS 17, some of the caveats to it, and how you can also customize it on your phone to have different options in standby mode. So let's get started. So first thing is, of course, you have to update your iPhone to iOS 17. So in order to update your phone, you're going to go into your settings, general, software update and the update was just released this week so you can now go ahead and download it we have a video on how to download it some different ways if you can download it through the internet now there's a couple things also about this is that your phone has to be uh, of course able to get ios 17 so you need iphone second generation for sc or newer or iphone 10 or 10s or 10x mass or something newer than that anything older than that doesn't support ios 17. so after you have ios 17 it's time to show you how to use the stand by mode which if you go into your settings here first thing you want to do is go to standby here and under standby here by default it should be already turned on for you if it's not you want to turn that on and then there's an option for night mode if you want that you know to keep that on and then if you want to show notification you also want to have that on i leave it as is just a custom to not really mess with too much. And then once you're ready to do the standby mode, you can pretty much go ahead and put your phone horizontally. You need to put it on a stand or somewhere that's horizontal, just like that. But along with that, you also need to connect it to a power source. Either you're using the wireless charger or you need to plug it in. So you need to plug it in with the charger. It needs to be connected to a power. And then once you do that, you'll lock the screen here. And then once you lock the screen here, you'll see the welcome to standby mode shows up for the very first time and you can hit continue here and we are good to go now as you'll notice here we have the standby mode working for on this phone which is the iphone 12 pro works great now one thing to note about the iphone is that on the iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max and anything newer like the iphone 15 series standby mode is always going to be on when you're connected to a power and diagonal anything older than that like iphone uh the regular 14 or anything older like iphone 13 standby mode turns off after 20 seconds and you'll have to tap it to turn it on so that's the only difference between if you have older phone versus like the iphone 14 pro or the 14 pro max or newer phone because of the feature that's available on the 14 pro and the 14 pro max which is the always on display so if you go into your settings in order to have it on all the time if you have a newer phone in the display here you need to make sure that always on is also on here so that it shows up all the time so as you can see here if i take this phone off and i put this one which is a 14 pro and because it has that always on feature if i put it on the stand close it and i'll wait for it and always on is because it's on that standby mode is always going to be available so that's the difference between them and of course on your phone what you can do is you can go ahead and do customization here on the newer phones there's a lot more to do in terms of customization if you go here you'll see here the always on option is available on the 14 pro and then you can also customize it for night mode like something things that you'll see here two other available options but we'll see in the future maybe it'll change for the other devices but that's how you stand by mode on the ios 17 update i hope this video was helpful if so please make the like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time